to national politics. Now we're still waiting to see which party will control Congress. Republicans have captured the majority in the Senate, but they're still counting votes in the House. NBC's Ryan Nobles has more on the balance of power. Congress is going to look a lot different next year. For the first time in four years, Republicans are poised to take control of the Senate, flipping Democratic seats in Montana, Ohio, and West Virginia, while holding the state of Texas. The results tonight, this decisive victory, should shake the Democrat establishment to its core. But while their victories have guaranteed a majority, Democrats were able to limit the losses by picking up wins in blue wall states Donald Trump won. Incumbent Tammy Baldwin survived in Wisconsin, and Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin held on to an open seat in Michigan. Tens of thousands of Michiganders voted for Donald Trump and Alyssa Slotkin on the same ballot. And it is my responsibility to get things done for Michiganders, um, no matter who's in office. In the House, the picture is less clear. A couple dozen seats remain uncalled, and Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries, who would be the first black speaker of the House should Democrats take the majority, arguing the House is still very much in play and adding we must count every vote. But the remaining map favors Republicans, and the current House Speaker Mike Johnson expressed confidence he would keep his job. We're going to have enough numbers to run the agenda through the House and the Senate, and President Trump is going to be a transformational president. But no matter what, the margins will be tight, and Democrats are already vowing to keep a check on the new administration at every turn.